Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your friend Isaac from Big Bike BMX. And today I have an unboxing of a sticker kit and a sprocket that I'm going to be putting on my Purple Rain uh, Big Ripper that I've I got a Purple Rain, got some yellow LA Ripper takeoff parts, put that on the bike and made an LA Rain. Um, since then I've kind of like, okay, I've seen it, I've ridden it. So wanted to do something different. I approached LJ at Ride Out Supply and I wanted a, like a Santa Cruz or some kind of custom to put on the purple bike. And we discussed it and he came up with some other ideas that I think are way better. And so I'm excited to show you my new sprocket and sticker kit. This is the first one that's been done that I know of. It's the first one that LJ's done. So I'm going to quickly show you real quick the, the sprocket that's gonna go on the purple bike. We'll sneak preview. Oh. <laughs> All right, so that is real carbon fiber on the ride out supply sprocket. That's the purple sprocket with the carbon sticker kit. <laughs> That's fire. Okay. So now I'm going to cut into the sticker kit very, very carefully. I'm actually just going to use the end of my scissors here. I haven't seen it, you guys. I've seen, we talked about it, but I have not seen what it looks like uh, in like the actual stickers in person. I'm literally cutting them open now. Carefully. This is paper. There's a lot. Okay. Isaac, thank you for your continued support. LJ Ride Out Supply. I keep all of these. I have every one that I've ever got from LJ. All right. So stickers. Some more stickers. Yellow and black. Some more. Ride Out Supply stickers. And we get a couple of these because they threw in some extras that they had there for that. But here we go. So what you're about to see is black carbon fiber with a yellow outline. There you go. So obviously that means I will be converting the purple rain into a yellow and black carbon dog town. That's what it looks like before we stuck it. I've got the down tube. So it comes the sticker kit comes with two of the down tube. Great. The one that goes on the top of the top tube, long top. Rear chainstay. And then this might be the dropout seat stay. One of these is seat stay. There you go. One of these is seat stay. One of these is chain, chain stay. So I'll look that up. There we go. Carbon fiber stickers for the la the landing gear. The X's. This is fly. Top two or the uh, the front badge. Seat post, or seat stay, and then some more stickers. So. I'm going to go about plan. To, I mean, for me, I love sticker kits and I love applying sticker kits. So the next process that I go through, I'm going to remove my old stickers, get all the gunk off with the goo, goo gone WD-40, get all of that off, clean the frame, rubbing alcohol, get all the oil from my fingertips off. Then I'll start placing the decals. I've done it. I've done two videos before on how I do it, but I'm going to do another one on this one. So Hope you enjoy the sticker install coming up next. But first, we're going to walk through. I'll get a couple of little clips of me destroying my fingertips while I remove the old decal. So let's go. Shout out Stag High Stockton. All right. 
Here we go, simple green, taking off the decals. So I'm gonna basically just spray some simple green on this old gnarly rag. And degrease my frame. This just wipes all the WD-40 that I got on there. Everything that I sprayed on here to clean up. Get all the nasty. Now this, these decals came off pretty clean, but I'm still gonna wipe it down because that is yellow and it is Phoenix and any dust hits any of that residue will, will show through on the sticker, so. All right, I'm gonna finish degreasing and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got all the decals removed. I'm not touching it because I just wiped it down with simple green and then some alcohol. Got all these off of the forks. Head tube badge, I got a scratch right there. Actually, that's Craig's scratch. That's a trophy from when he crashed. Um, down tube is good. There's some stickers that are gonna go here. I know I've got some chain stay down here. I got some C stay up here. Got a couple of X's I think that go here. Dogtown here, or Big Ripper here. I believe Dogtown's gonna go up here. And then I've got some fork stickers and a head tube badge. So, first off is to figure out where center is on the bike. But I also have to pay attention to the sprocket. So I'm gonna measure the distance between the sprocket and up here, find the midpoint, and that's gonna be my center because I don't want my sticker being too far down, which would look fine here. Might be too, too centered. If I center it from here at the bottom bracket shell and head tube or the gusset, it's gonna look right here, but it may be too far down this way for the drive side. So I'm gonna measure end of sprocket to gusset, get the center point, get that ticked off, and then I'm gonna put some tape around the, the uh, sticker, and that way I'll make sure that it's centered. So let's, let's start on that. All right, so there to about, say 20 inches is the sprocket. So 10 inches is gonna be the middle. I'll mark that and that'll be my center. All right, so I'm just kind of looking at the decal up on the frame there. All right, so what I did, I measured between the end, of, I put some gloves on too because I keep touching my, my bike after I've cleaned it. So between the apostrophe here and there, 17 inches. So basic math, that means eight and a half inches, which is right there is gonna be the middle. And up here, I've got my, my mark with my pencil. And I'm gonna line that pencil mark up with that line, which will then center my decal perfectly between the end of the sprocket and the gusset. And so I'm gonna take a look at that, see what it looks like once I get it taped up and it's all perfectly centered to see if I really wanna keep it there or if I want to uh, move it down or up, but that'll give me at least center. All right, <clears throat> so I used a pencil. You can maybe see a mark right there. I have a pencil mark that I can wipe off, but that's on the top, so it won't affect the sticker, but that gives me a line so I know where middle is. I can measure the sticker, uh, the decal that's gonna go on the down tube, center it here, and know that I'm perfectly centered on my frame. All right, so there it is centered. I like the way that looks. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, hold the other one up so I can look at the drive side and make my final call. All right, so there we go. That's the first down tube. I'm gonna move on to the seat tube. Chain stay, seat stay, and I'll be right back. But I need to figure out, I need to go online and look which one of these, this is the top tube, but I know there is a seat, there is a 
another sticker in here. There's the X for the seat tube. And there is another, there's the landing gear. I'm gonna figure out, I think, find the other one. Figure out which one is the seat, which one is the head tube. I believe that's the head tube, that's the seat. The X, there's another X, and landing gear. So let me research, I'll be right back. All right, update, got the first bone. Smaller side down, meaning a smaller opening down. Get this one on, just pressed it in. You don't have to press this in after you do it, but I, I get kind of weird about it. All right. Next one. It goes small side up. That one went small side down. This one's gonna go small side up, right up there. So I'm gonna peel this off. I'm doing this one-handed today, you guys. So I'm gonna peel this off of the backing. It'll just be the decal on the clear, and I'll show you how I place it up there. All right, decal, small side up, small side down on the bottom. Look up here. I think that is too far that way. There we go. So I, pr I roll it to one side and I make sure I kind of press it around. I imagine the tip of my finger is like an eraser and I just press the decal because what I'm trying to do is get the bonding the bonding uh, glue on the back of the sticker to bond and uh, stick to the aluminum that's why you clean it because the better the decal adheres to the paint the 3M will stick so there you go get it done you see where I'm putting my tape all right top tube next All right, y'all, that's it for the sticker install portion of this video. Uh, I was doing it one-handed by myself, so I didn't get a lot of the actual placement, but I will put a video up in the corner uh, that links to the way that I do it when I put a camera on a tripod and get the, get the measuring tape out and tape off everything. There's a process to it to make sure that it's, that it's uh, centered and straight. You can follow that. You can kind of see the, the direction that I went in this video, the way that I measured. Uh, but there's one more thing that I have to do. I got so excited, I wanted to go out and ride it. So that's the footage you saw just there. I did go back uh, the following day and I put in the, or I installed the uh, Ride Out Supply purple sprocket with the carbon fiber decal on it. And so I'm going to show you that now. And we'll just basically give you a, a, an entire overview of the way the bike looks. And then we'll wrap this up. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. If you love your bike and you want to refresh the look and feel, a sticker kit is the easiest way to do this. You can get a customized sticker kit so you can come up with your own design. I'm thinking about doing one for like Mando or Star Wars. Uh, I'm still trying to debate on how I want to do that, but this is an easy way you can just update and refresh your bikes, keep them looking cool and fun. Uh, you don't have to just go buy a brand new frame if there's nothing wrong with it. Paint it, uh, re-decal it, put some new parts. It's not that hard and you'll have a brand new look and feel to your bike and you'll love it all over again. You guys have fun, go ride your bikes and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. My name's Isaac subscribe if this helped. If you liked it, I always ask at the very end of the video. So, hey, if this was helpful to you, if you enjoyed it, you're just coming back to BMX, you want to learn some more content, or you want to learn how to repair, tune up your big bike, hang out, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I, po uh, when I post new videos. But have fun. Go ride your bikes. I'll see you soon. Take care.
All right, there it is, all done. Boom, boom, boom. All right. <clears throat> so what I did to make this happen, this frame started, again, purple rain, changed out the yellow uh, cranks, the seat, seat post. Those are night, night by co yellow bars and LA, uh, LA Ripper forks. Again, LA Ripper seat, cranks, and I originally had the bars and handlebars, but I swapped them out for some night bike handlebars. And this is the Dogtown kit that you can get from Ride Out Supply with carbon fiber decal. There you go. And then I have a ride on my ride outs. I'll ride with the Merit XL bag because you can fit a tube, tools, um, water bottle, I mean everything you can fit inside that bag. There's two little chambers, it's great. Uh, but this is my ride out bike. One thing I did add, Evil Alloy sent that, the speaker clips that I have on the top tube, love them. The, it just makes this look even crazier out of place because of the color, but was a gift but uh so this is a flip four i think and it doesn't fit all the way in that 3.5 diameter that these are designed for so all i did was took some uh ride out bands put three of them stacked up on this and it fits i i, I can't rotate it so it's secure in there i wish it was black i'm now i'm gonna have to get a, either a black one or a yeah, I'm gonna have to get a black one. But anyway, head to badge. Tires are yellow and gnarly. But there we go. Shout out to Evil Alloy. Billy Perry Grips from Merit. Night Bike Co. V bars. They're the 8 inch bars. What else? Ride Out Supply Sprocket, the purple with the carbon fiber. There we go. And you might notice I have a black rim and a purple rim because this one I just took the rim off of my old flyer put it on here. But let's go take a look and see what it sounds like. This bike is dope. 